Why do you celebrate birthdays? When should you celebrate your birthday? The normal answer that you are given is that it is the day you were born. That's wrong. That's a wrong birthday. We shall share solid proofs that billions today have been deceived and are now celebrating wrong birthdays. Why actually should you celebrate your birthday? What's the purpose? What's the goal? Have you ever wondered when birthday celebrations started? Who started them? Whose birthday was celebrated? And whose birthday are you celebrating today? Why do you light and blow candles? Did they have cakes in ancient times? They were celebrating birthdays? Let's look at this and uh, see that generally a birthday is defined as a person's yearly celebration of their birth their physical birth coming out of their mother's womb it is an annual celebration of another year that has been added to this person's life according to their calculation but whose year and which year let's be very clear that the years that are used to calculate birthdays today are the Gregorian or Roman calendar and they are based on 12 months whether solar or lunar. In 1582, Pope Gregory XIII ordered a new calendar, the Gregorian calendar, to replace the Julian calendar. This moved the New Year's day from April 1 to January the 1st. So you see, Fool's Day, Pope Gregory was the head of the Catholic Church and the ruler of the Papal States and he ruled and his ruling and his calculations are still the same systems that are being used today because the Gregorian calendar has been adopted in all the world no matter where you are some might have a little bit of their own here like in China and so forth but in China they adopted it in 1912 in Russia 1918 in uh, America 1752 in Canada 1752 in Australia same year so it is very clear that this is what is ruling uh, this world this calendar the uh, Gregorian uh, calendar with a small adjustment if you celebrate your birthday in any of the dates that fall within the Gregorian calendar following the 12 unit months as a measurement for your birth whether you use solar or use lunar but connecting it to the 12 month cycle based on the Gregorian calendar you must know that there are so many other ways from ancient times in which time was calculated in which dates were changed and everything was pushed out of sync from the astronomical positions here let us answer this question whether you should celebrate your birthday based on the 12th solar or lunar year based on the Gregorian calendar what you must understand and what you must accept and what you must research on is that anything that is imposed on you by the government is going to do disservice to you the 12th solar or lunar best year month best year is not naturally connected to you it is an imposition by your government by authorities by schools and universities and scholars and by the priests of the reptilians that rule behind the scenes and it is an autocratic and acceptable legal system that is pushing this under the roman uh, dutch law and therefore because of that celebrating your birthday is accepting that your birth certificate is the real record of the death of your birth it is a sure sign of your ignorance mental slavery and if you analyze facts and clearly know these facts and you still counter to the pressure and celebrate birthdays as per the roman dutch hegemony you have sold out your soul or you are naturally weak or you want and embrace the enslaver and colonizer disguised under the maritime admiralty law and mental slavery is the worst form of slavery it gives you the illusion of freedom makes you trust love and defend your oppressor therefore you will defend this birthday calculation that you are adopting that you have adopted that you have found in this world while you accuse those that want to free you as the enemies so here's the question let's go back when should you celebrate your birthday on your natural day of birth which one where do we go and how do we calculate and how do we find it consider the fact that you spend a certain number of moons or months in your mother's womb generally nine sometimes seven sometimes eight sometimes five then you come out but rarely 12 as a factor this is the factor pointing out how you would easily celebrate a wrong birthday because you cannot use the same months that are not synchronous to the period that you spend in your mother's womb alone and then adopt it outside of everything else disconnecting yourself from your mother from the umbilical cord and from the period that you survived 
in the, your mother's womb being manufactured. Therefore, something is out of sync there. The number of your moons, in other words, the period that you spend in your mother's womb, is the factor or natural mathematical unit you should use to calculate your birth cycle. Hence, your real true birthday is based on that number. Whether you spent nine months, whether you spent two months, whether you spent five months, the moment you came out of your mother's womb, your mother's universe to this world, that's your unity. How come now you ignore this natural unit of time in which you were created in your mother's womb and you have been tricked and juked and you allow yourself to adopt and adapt to the Roman solar calendar, the Roman method. What's in all erroneous about this? It is like you are sticking to the wrong birthday. Think about this. Even so, we know definitely that the, our new year begins in September. Therefore, if you are to calculate and say, okay, you want to keep a solar edge or solar unit as the period, the 12-month period, who don't you rather start in September rather than January? Because January you are connecting to the god Janus and you are re you have to recalculate your birth to suit the correct and the most natural and ancestral synchronous date which pinpoints to the nine or eight months depending with how many months you spend in your mother's womb. We therefore here at Marfado offer those that are willing to ditch this erroneous system that siphons their birth energy to recalculate it and uh, calibrate their birthday if they want to celebrate it and select whether they want to celebrate it as a solar or as a lunar then we can share our opinion and our calculations. You can send your question and your desire to join at marifado.com Actually, we must celebrate the true birthdays because of major reasons three major reasons one the lunar birthday endows you with character traits and a set of abilities cosmic opportunities predetermining your mental health and luck that's why if you are crazy they call you lunatic because you are out of sync with your lunar energy and you have been connected to another form of energy your lunar birthday helps you to better understand yourself and determine your strengths and weaknesses. Strengths that are worth developing and situations that you should avoid. The solar calendar birthdays are based on wrong dates. Pinpointing you to the Janus, the god of beginning of the Romans. Connecting your energy to a wrong point or wrong section or wrong dates or wrong system or wrong Culture. Observing a wrong birthday enslaves your soul and disconnects you from your natural cycle and using ignorance. Your distorted energy output unknowingly empowers Roman gods and their calendar and their systems that are running in this world and it disconnects you from your natural human cycle. So, let's ask the question, do you know who started birthday celebrations? It is none else other than the ancient Africans who started to celebrate birthdays. The Greeks came about 2,000 years later, the Romans came about 3,000 years later, and others followed well, well, when we had already exhausted it. In many cultures that developed the celebration of uh, birthdays, they borrowed and misunderstood the original purpose of celebrating a birthday. Nobody today who is celebrating birthday understands that. Very few, a little bit may understand that. But after this video, you will all be aware of it. You will be able to do your investigations, your research, and see the purpose and the reason of why you should celebrate birthday in a different manner, different style, different time, and different calculation. When the Africans installed their kings on the throne, they said these kings had attained the status of of divinities, so-called gods. They had received a new birth. But what they were actually saying about the new birth was not their physical birth. It was their divinization. And your divinization starts when the soul connects to the flesh during conception. That's your divinization. And then when you are born, you have to synchronize your lunar cycle, the number of period of months that you spend in your mother's womb because that was the cycles that, are, that built your soul consciousness. Eventually, you will have to come out 
and celebrate that as a divinization but so it is the lunar celebration that is very very important the greeks adopted this african tradition of celebrating the birth of a divinity but they got confused because they then went ahead just like all other pagan cultures and traditions they changed this date this birth and they thought that when they our ancestors spoke of divinization they were speaking of evil spirits and therefore they started to have the practice and tradition of lighting candles when they celebrate their physical birth the physical birth of the body which was synchronized to their calendar which is not what we do which is not what we must do and therefore thinking that by lighting calendars they are pushing away darkness they are pushing away these evil spirits this implies that birth the celebration started as a form of protection but it was not exactly like that because it was a form of enthronement whether of your soul into flesh or whether of a physical king on the throne so the greeks introduced a number of practices that are common today celebrated and loved by all of our brothers and sisters that celebrate solar birthdays the birthday cake the greeks adopted birthdays from africans celebrating the birth of a god and then they included artemis the lunar goddess offering a moon shaped cakes these cakes that you celebrate today adorned by candles which you blow and which you do all the tricks that you do and the glowing radiance of these uh, candles they assumed that these candles are signifying the sending of the prayers to their god but it's not like that with us the god is within us so we celebrate what is within you also celebrate what was within the womb the romans then came along and they were the first to completely misunderstand the divinity connectivity of birthdays they then decided that it is a celebration of the birth of the common man and at that time only men were allowed to celebrate their birthdays women were not allowed to celebrate their birthdays unlike in our traditions when we never thought of everything and divinization on gender terms therefore in Europe, women started to celebrate birthday in the 12th century. With us, it was way, way before any white man or European or Asian walked the earth. Christians initially thought that uh, celebrating birthday was an unholy pagan tradition. And during their lives and their synods, the Christians then considered celebrating birthday only for Jesus because they then assumed that Jesus was special. And therefore, they church started to become more and more supportive of our birthdays and today they are the only ones that are running around crazy about uh, birthdays in celebration of birthdays but the question is are birthday celebrations christians no they are roman so these are romanized birthdays that they are celebrating most jewish people celebrate uh, birthdays some pious jews and hebrews allies refrain from celebrating birthday because of their misunderstanding of the biblical issue of the pharaoh who celebrated birthday in their torah that's their story if you really need to celebrate your birthday wouldn't you avoid doing it wrongly avoid these errors you have to calculate the correct date using your lunar unit you have to be divinized you have to understand what is meant by being divinized so that you can celebrate birthday as a divinity you have to do it correctly but the choice is yours your actions will tell us whether you support rome or greece or your ancestors and divinities today we have shared with you the correct way to celebrate birthdays if you are interested Get in touch and send us an email on join at marifado.com. Thank you for watching. Amiti Hebrew Ethics YouTube. Subscribe, share, and like this video. And uh, celebrate your true birthday. Your Hama Nature Topi, Priest Rabbi L.M. Dumizuru, saying, Yes, be divinized and celebrate your correct lunar-based birthday. Ameni.